Hey, this is Georgie. And Pete. And welcome to Studio Jargon Busters, where we take studio terminology, put it into plain English. That's right. In every episode, we take a commonly used studio or audio term, and I try to explain it in some sort of common English. So, And I keep him honest. Exactly. What are we talking about today? Uh, today, we're talking about delay. Delay. Are we talking about delay? Yes, we're talking about delay. Let's, Let's go. go. So what on earth is delay? Well, as you know, I like to ask you what is delay. Yeah, no, it's getting old. Okay. (laughs) Um, So (laughs) we talked about reverb in a recent episode. So reverb where Uh, we have the reflections, the reverberation. And one of the most common questions on audio and studio and all these sort of terms is, what is the difference between audio, between audio, between delay and reverb? I have no idea. I don't barely know what reverb is. So we went through reverb. Reverb is reverberation, which is like a you're in a room. You're in a. We talked about churches. We talked about halls. We talked about amphitheaters and other things. So yeah. So the the meh, 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 meh. So that is the reflections that you're getting back. So delay is a very simplified version of that. And delay is often like referred to as digital delay because it's not really something you find in nature. Like you find echo in nature and delay and echo are kind of used interchangeably at times. So but they're not the same. Well, they, they kind of are the same. Oh, well, <laughs> just say echo then. Why make up another word? Well, yeah, why, why do we have delay? Well, because what you're actually doing with delay is you are delaying the sound signal. So if you have a sound, and it could be a voice, a guitar, a piano, whatever it is, the sound is being played. If you add delay to that, it is being played again. So it is a repeat function. So it is an echo of the original sound. So just say echo. You probably could just say echo, but it's not. A lot of people no, misconstrue it, echo because they're like, echo, 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 which is exactly what delay is. <laughs> Except <laughs> I just proved, unproved, disproved my own point. So reverb and delay are very closely related, but delay in particular is used a lot on vocals, it's used on guitar. Guitar is probably one of the things that you think about it. So you hear like a guitar solo where it's like, down, 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 and it's like, down, 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 down. I like, think about. 80s. Uh, 80s, yeah. <laughs> the 80s had a lot of delay. Um, yeah, like a wicked guitar solo from the 70s or 80s or 90s. I said wicked. No one says it wicked. You just said wicked. You say lit these days, don't you? Isn't that the word you say? Uh, a you're lit on, guitar. You're on fleek. Uh, what? Yeah, you don't even know what that no, is. No, I really don't know what that <laughs> means. I barely do. Oh, oh man. Is that... I'm sure nobody says it anymore. Oh, wow. Is that going to get like this flagged? Because it's Probably. like an inappropriate word. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the tags. Fleek. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to spell it. You're way off track, Georgie. Yes. Delay. Delay. So what do you use delay for? Well, like I said, you've got your guitars, you've got vocals, you've got your whole mix can have some delay on it if you want to get really freaky and trippy. Any sort of synth sounds can have some cool delays. Say synth Synth sounds. Synth is a hard word to say. Quickly. Synth Synth sounds. sounds. But delay basically breaks down to this. Most of the delays that you have are going to either be on the beat of your song or they're going to be at a certain time. So you're going to have a delay that say, like, and we're going to get some music theory here. You ready? You ready for some music theory? Sure. So you know what a quarter note is? No. Okay, so quarter note is your crotchet beat of like a 4-4 four, four time. So you've got sure, one, let's two, pretend three, I know four. what a crotchet one, is. One, two, three, four. Quarter note delay just basically means that if you hit the sound at the first, it's going to wait one beat of a four-bar beat, and then it's going to play it again. So if you so go one, two, on the, three, four. It's going to play on the one and the three. It'll play on the one and the two, because it'll mm. play it after a quarter mm. of a note. So after a quarter of a bar, quarter note, it's going to go one. Two, so it's going to stop, stop. stop. One, two, nothing, nothing. One, two, nothing, nothing. Well, yes, uh, if you have a single delay. But the other part of delay is how much it repeats. Oh, so, so it could be it could... like, one, two, three, four. Exactly. One, two, three. Except it's not, I get it Except now. that particular first note is not going to then get louder on the fourth one. Like, it's not going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, it's going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's going to, okay. like, trail out oh, okay. over time. Okay. Anyway, that that's... Probably not as important as the fact that yeah you can you can decide how quick it is. So if you have a quarter note, that's going to be like on the beat. If you have an eighth note, it's going to be like a half a beat. So it's going to, da, 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 da. It's going to be quicker than that. Sixteenth note, da, 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 da. like like that. Um, so the quicker the delay, 
the quicker the repeat sound actually comes in. What are the 30... 30 second one? Is it... The 32nd note or the 64th note? Yeah. And that's where you get into things called a slap back delay. Ooh. Heard of a slap back? I'll slap your back. <laughs> slap back delay. Slap back delays are often used in vocals and it's, think of the Beatles sort of sound, like that sort of, the echo almost comes so quickly you can't even really hear it. And what a slap back delay does is it just creates like that thicker vocal sound. So you hear it, you hear the vocal and then you hear it like literally like milliseconds afterwards. So milliseconds. So the is, Beatles used that a lot, did they? They did. They used that a lot. Like a lot, of, a lot of those sort of vocals, and they used lengthy delays as well. But slapback delay, you can set in terms of milliseconds. So how many milliseconds after the first one did it go? So if you're not going to use the notes, so a quarter note, an eighth note, a sixteenth note, whatever, you tend to use a time. So how quickly the delay is. There's a whole bunch of other things around delay, which we won't go into a lot of detail because this is just to tell you about the term itself but the key things around delay is what is the time of the delay so when is the delay going to kick in after the original sound yeah. and then how much delay is there going to be so what's the frequency of it afterwards so how long is the tail of the delay so if you have a really quick one it's going to did it did it did it and if you extend that out it's going to as we talked about I like the little tail the longer tail that's right the long echo so what do you think? Does that uh, explain the basics of delay? Are you uh, brain? Is your brain now more knowledgeable? There was about there was more delay? maths in that than I was hoping for. A lot for. of numbers and music theory and yeah. things in there. But if we bring it all the way back, as we like to do, delay is different to reverb in that is a much simpler way of creating some depth in your. Basically, music. delay is different to reverb, but base reverb, but basically the same as echo. Yes, delay and echo can be used interchangeably. In fact, in GarageBand, they are called echo, and it is actually delay, which... Uh, Just yeah. call it echo. We've talked about this and before. And be done. Like be vol- done with Volume it. and We're gain done. mean the same thing. Are we done? That's it. We're done. Do you have any questions? Um, We're done. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No questions. No questions about as delay. As long as you have no follow-up questions, I also have no follow-up questions. Well, that sounds like a good place to end it. So if you'd like to find out more about delay, perhaps, or anything or else echo. about audio or echo or reverb or anything else audio related, you can head on over to studiolivetoday.com. And if you have ideas for future things you would like busted, please leave them down in the comments. And until next time, we will see you <laughs> next time. <laughs> Well done. On Studio Jargon Busters. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Studio Jargon Busters. To find out when new episodes drop, hit the subscribe button. To watch another episode right now, click or tap on the icon on the left. And for more recording tips, tricks and tutorials, click or tap on the right.